we are going to learn how to multiply. As we discussed before, a child can skip, jump, sing, because a child knows what those doing words or what those verbs mean. But a child cannot multiply unless he has a definition of what to multiply means. We must have a definition of multiplying. What is multiplying? Multiplying is building a rectangle. In book three, we will do the following multiplication problem. What we are looking at is something that we're very familiar with, two factors, an over distance and an up distance. Remember, multiplication is building a rectangle. So in order to build a rectangle, all we need is our over distance and our up distance, or our factors. Let's outline our factors here. Here we must be over x plus two. We will be over x plus two units and our up distance will be x plus three units. We can now see that over x and up x creates an area of x squared. We now must come over two. We will extend our square over two. And we will extend our square up three units. We bring the entire square up three units. And now all we have to do is fill in our corner and we have a complete rectangle. We place in our units, the rectangle two by three, and we now have our rectangle. We just did a multiplication problem. We built a rectangle. What did we start with? We started with our factors. We started with our dimensions. Factoring was also what? Factoring is building a rectangle. In factoring, we started with our amount and found our dimensions. And let me point out, in mathematics, there are only two things that we are focusing on, amount and direction. In our very first three books, we are starting to really gain a grasp of what mathematics is all about. Now we must record how much we have or the amount that we have. Here we can see that we have x squared. x square. Here we can see how many x's we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, five x's. And here we have six units. Let me write this below a little larger and possibly clearer. x square plus five x, x squared plus five x plus six units.